Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's just a quick update just in regards to Safe Haven. Alright guys, so obviously we did talk about yesterday uh, it going up and, and us getting the breakout. Obviously since then we've seen uh, a nice price increase. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I want to say something important. Alright, so if you did get in from the breakout, if you did get in from the breakout, alright, so you're looking at something like 56% gains since yesterday from the breakout okay now uh, what i want to talk about is the fact that people are messaging me asking about you know they, they ask me questions when i post a, a chart or information about a chart or any singular crypto people say you know is this a long term hold okay this is what what you're doing you know what should i do you know right so like this for example right obviously i got in before if you if you follow my videos i got in before the breakout okay so even if i was to uh, hold now i'd be in a nice place i'll be in a safer place than if i was to get in down there okay we did see a bit of a dip and we've seen it brought back up again all right but what i was doing is i, I took profits uh, over here uh, yesterday like before we got that dip i took profits while the candles were green okay um, and when i say yesterday i mean late last night talking like two three in the morning maybe okay so did i completely scale out no i left some on the table and what i did leave on the table um obviously it did come down and now it's back into profit the profit zone all right now the reason i'm saying this is that you don't know what's going to happen with any given trade or any given cryptocurrency right there's been long-term holds that i've held in the past that haven't made me money right and i've had to come to that point in in my life where i realize you know i think it's time to get out of this coin um you know I've, it's, it's not gonna happen if it hasn't happened by now it's 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 not gonna happen all right despite what youtubers say this is gonna go to the moon it may not happen all right so when you're investing in cryptocurrencies you're taking a risk yeah and you have to look at the probability okay it's probable that it can go up it's probable that it can go down all right now with uh this for example i've scaled out and i've took probably about 75 percent profits and i've left the rest in all right and it's still a large you know quite a significant amount of uh safe haven uh, tokens all right but that plan can change. So, so if if it drops below this level now, you know, I might think about getting out. Do you know what I mean? You know, even though it's not really costing me anything. If this went to zero, I'm not losing money. All right. Okay, I am losing money for the simple fact that those profits are. You know, I did make profit on that, but I haven't realised those profits. Um, I, I've realised some of the profit, but I haven't realised the full potential of that profit because I haven't completely came out of the trade all right or the long-term hold whatever you want to call it right so at the end of the day i don't know whether it's a good long-term hold or not um uh, for certain all right the only thing i can say is that it does feel like it would be a good long-term hold all right and that's just my opinion but things can change my opinions can change so you have to make up your own mind as to whether you think that something is a good long-term hold or not safe haven is an inheritance solution on the blockchain when you're talking about inheritance inheritance is something that you know you you get like later on in life so if people are planning for their children's inheritance or whatever right then that's something that they're going to be putting down and they're going to be locking away right um they call it safe haven obviously you know it's meant to be a safe haven you know that the, the term safe haven is like when you put your money into a safe haven it's it's, it's safe right <laughs> right so is this a good long-term hold potentially that's all i can say potentially i can't say yes or no i could just say potentially all right now think about wall street right people who work on wall street they don't get fired for taking profits okay so you can't you can never go wrong with taking some profits all right so if you're in profit 
and you're up like 50% or 100% or whatever, there's nothing wrong with taking some profits out of that, leaving some in for a long term, and then taking those take taking those profits or, or your initial investment and putting that into something else, another coin that you that you uh, believe in. All right. I was watching an interview on the guy that created Polkadot, Gavin something. All right, and he co-founded Ethereum just yesterday, and he even said something. He says, you know, people need to stop, um, like kind of focusing on one coin. For example, thinking like the one coin is gonna make it. There's lots of projects that are going to go very far in this space all right there's not one coin to rule them all so there's other projects that you can that you can pick and that you can say okay long term hold long term hold long term hold all right but when you diversify take some profits out over there put that over there like maybe into something that hasn't popped yet that has utility that you think you could go far you know just move it you know it's not you getting out of crypto you're taking your profits and you're reinvesting it elsewhere, all right? And that's diversifying your portfolio at the same time. Okay. Now, if you look at things like the likes of, you can't just look at like SparkPoint and say, oh, you know, uh, SparkPoint went up 700, 1,000 percent. So, you know, I'm expecting Safe Haven to do the same as what SparkPoint did. You know, uh, to be honest, we've got in SparkPoint from the bottom, okay? Now, if you look at Safe Haven and you go from the bottom, it made rough, it's made roughly, you know, over a thousand percent already. If you if you measure it, from the first initial move, that was one thousand one hundred percent. Now, if you did hold through uh, all of that, then it's one thousand three hundred and fifty-two percent. Okay. So at the end of the day, this this move could be running out of steam you know uh if we went by elliott wave theory you could say it's a one wave and then a three wave and then a five wave all right now the one wave is normally the smallest wave the three wave is the biggest wave and then the five wave is uh not as big as the three wave so i think it's safe uh, well it was safe for me to be getting out over here although i have missed out on some profit potential over here right but there's no guarantee that that's going to go up much further all right in the short term that is okay if it's a long-term hold that's different okay but it, even with a long-term hold right if you look at spark point what does spark point do i believe spark point's a long-term hold i am long-term holding some spark point i took out a lot of profits at the top uh, almost the top almost the top because you know i'm, I'm not perfect so i'm not going to buy the, the bottoms perfectly and sell the tops perfectly all right but I was taking profits over here, all right? Yes, I left some skin in the game. Big bag of spark point, right? But that big bag of spark point has dwindled off all the way down here, all right? And yes, I'm still holding it. I don't intend to sell it, all right? Uh, but my opinion can change, you know, later, who knows? But um, these moves do run out of steam and they need to correct and, you know, find some consolidation again. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's a market cycle. So you see it come all the way up, come down, you know, it, it could come all the way down, you know, accumulate, 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 and then go for another bigger move, you know. And that could take several months or years, who knows? You know, that's just the way the market the market is sometimes. What you'll find with the low caps is sometimes the market is, it is sped up, all right? So if you look at something like Bitcoin or XRP or one of the, the higher cap coins, the, the market cycles are more in like a slow motion all right and the lower cap coins because they're so they, because they're so low in price and the liquidity is that they're, they're, they're very slippy you know what i mean like a small amount of money can make a, a very large move so the market cycles can happen in more of like a, a faster motion than a higher cap coin all right and we see that there okay so you could say that this is a market cycle right and then it's going to come down and then curve curve and then eventually you get another impulse and then another impulse and another impulse and once it gets past here it will start you you know that the new market cycle was confirmed once it makes a new all-time high all right and you know who knows how far it can go so yeah guys i just wanted to point that out to you you are up uh, you are doing well in um in in a safe haven not every trade or every hold you're going to put on is going to, you know, do a thousand percent or 10x in a couple of days like SparkPoint did or like, you know, sharing did or what, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so just keep that in mind, guys. There's nothing wrong with taking some profits and waiting to see 
what happens, leave some skin in the game, you know, and then don't worry about it. You sleep well, just like I did last night after I took some profits, you know. Well, right, guys, so it's just a quick video. Uh, I don't have much time on my hands. I need to get ready for church. So if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.